About 1,000 farmers from the Upper East and North East regions will this morning embark on a march to present a petition to the Vice President, Dr. Baumea, and the Northern MPs, calling on them to prioritize the Paolugu multi-purpose dam project for investment as part of the IMF negotiations. But ahead of the march, the leadership of the Peas and Farmers Association of Ghana visited the construction sites for the Paolugu Dam and expressed disappointment at the disappearance of the contractor from the site. Executive Director for the President Farmers Association, Dr. Charles Nyaba, says in addition to making similar discoveries as were found in the Joy News documentary, A Dam Prom of Promises, they also discovered that the contractor had sold some of his belongings to the community members, an indication that he may not be returning to the site. Disappointed. I'm heartbroken. I'm sort of worse. You see, there was a little bit of hope in us when I didn't come to the site. But as you can see, the contractor has packed out of sight. And what is even making it more annoying and frightening is the fact that his tent that he bought here, the chippings that they bought, the sand that they bought, they sold everything to the community. The community members told us. That people came to buy them, the community members, they sold it to them. Okay? They sold whatever. They sold their, their tents, they sold the sand, that this, these stones even lying there. They sold it. People are here to come and fetch it. Okay? So, what I know with government projects is that if government run out of funding, contractors leave site anytime they are paid, they come to continue. But in this case, what has informed the contractor's decision to actually sell the tents that he came in to put up to use for, for work? And uh, I'm tempted to believe that maybe government had truncated the project, but they are not telling us. So the march is now to bring the community members in war. We are not just leaving this project to only the politicians or only to our leaders. So the march is actually bringing all the farmers in Upper East and North East who are interested in the development of this irrigation project to be part of it, to raise concerns, to let the whole country know that they are so passionate about this project and whatever government is discussing as part of the IMF bailout negotiation, this dam should be prioritized for investment. Okay? If IMF bailout will release government and give them opportunity to go in for loans, we want this dam to be number one in terms of infrastructure involved, uh, development in Northern Ghana. Uh, we will try all our best to engage the Vice President to understand whether this project that he initiated that we are so happy about, which is going to be a historic project because this 24,000 hectares, mm -hmm. the highest irrigation dam we had in this country is 3,500 3, hectares. That's the Tono and then Pong irrigation project. So it is a reason why we those in this part of the country are so much in love with the vice president. But I'm sure that at least uh, given his interest for the development of Northern Ghana, he should be able to give us an idea whether we should be hoping for this project to continue or it has actually been abandoned. Upper East Regional Correspondent and producer of a dam of promises, Albert Sawyer, joins me live. Albert, have the farmers started with their march? So the march has not yet started. Uh, mainly because the farmers are gathering in the northeast regional capital in Nadirko. They are expecting east and uh, upper east regions to gather this morning for this match. Uh, they will also include farmers from the northern region as well. One of the reasons for doing this is because we want to uh, use the opportunity of the climate change week uh, to draw government's attention to the importance of this dam because as farmers they believe that with the impact of climate change this dam if constructed is going to go a long way to boost agriculture and also to improve the fortunes of peasant farmers in these two regions. So at the moment they are gathering for this march. It will go through uh, the principal streets of Nalirugu and it will end at the Northeast Regional Coordinate uh, North, uh, Regional Coordinating Council, where they will present a petition uh, to the regional minister uh, for onward uh, transfer to the vice president of Ghana. 
All right, that is Upper East Regional Correspondent Albert. Sorry, Albert, we'll be coming to you live at midday for updates on that march.